Hey guys, Lego Panda Studios here today, and today we have a review of an older set, uh, an older Lego City set to be more specific, from 2014, and it is the Auto Transporter. It is set number 60060. It has 350 pieces, and something interesting to note about this set is that it actually contains really no exclusive minifigures in it. As both of these minifigures, their parts can be found in numerous different sets. The only thing of any sort of rarity in this set would be the this minifigure right here, his torso, is only found in about, I think, seven sets. So that is about the rarest minifigure part that's in this set. Also, something else that's interesting to note is that this is one of the few auto transporter type vehicles that LEGO has released. This is the newest since 2014. It's the only one that you can find. And the only other auto transporter type vehicle was the highway transporter which was released under the creator line in 2009. Which is slightly different from this one. It's a little bit bigger. But other than that, it's pretty much the same type of thing. So, this is an overview of the entire set with the two minifigures and the auto transporter itself. So first we'll look at the two minifigures that are included in this set, and then we'll look at the overall transporter itself. Here is the first minifigure that's included in this set, and it is a businessman type minifigure. He is included in this set because I believe at least one of the cars that's on the auto transporter is probably his. So, as stated earlier, this set does not really contain any exclusive minifigures or any sort of minifigure part that's really super hard to come by. But this suit is not the most common torso, suit torso, that's available from LEGO. This one is found in a lot of different sets, but not as many as you might think. But basically, Taking a look at this minifigure and its design, you can see that it has this slicked back dark brown hair, and he also has this smirking, smiling expression on his face. This is a really common face in the LEGO City sets. And his main torso is this navy blue slash dark blue torso with the suit printing on the front, and also some dark blue legs to go along with it. Taking a look at the back of the minifigure, you can just see that the suit pattern with the stripes continues onto the back of the torso, and you can also just see the back of his hair. This does not have a dual-sided face, and also, of course, he has his little briefcase for all his business duties that he does in his job. So that's pretty much it for this minifigure, so now we'll move on to the other minifi minifigure that's included in this set. So here is the other minifigure that's included in this set. And this is the minifigure that has the slightly rare torso, which is this sweatshirt, uh, medium blue or blue sweatshirt with a dark red shirt underneath. This torso pattern is somewhat rare, but not exactly rare. He also has these sand blue pants, which are also a nice color, not as frequently come by in LEGO sets. And on his face, he has the sunglasses with the smiling pattern, and one of the newer style red baseball caps. And also in his hand, he has a little clipboard with a pen and some paper for all of his auto-transporting duties that he has for his job. And taking a look at the back. This minifigure's pattern for his torso just continues on to the back of the minifigure, and he also does not have a dual-sided face, and you can see the back of his hat. So that's pretty much it for this minifigure and all the minifigures in the set. So now we will move on to the actual auto transporter itself. So here is the auto transporter. For reviewing purposes and being able to see the entire set for all it is, I split the set down the middle so you have the trailer hitch part of the vehicle and you have the main part of it as well. So first we'll take a look at the main part of the auto transporter. 
which is where the actual vehicle is. So taking a look at it from the front, you can see it's your pretty basic trailer truck front end. This is a sticker, it is not a printed piece, but it is a nice sticker. And you can see the grill pattern on the front. I like how they angled this part in the back here using this piece. I've never seen that done before and I think it, it really makes it look really nice, especially with the slanting here. It makes it look really nice. And we'll take a quick look inside the cabin of the truck, just to give you an idea of what's in there. It's basically just the steering wheel, there's a little coffee cup, and then an area for a minifigure or two to sit. It almost looks like you could probably squeeze two minifigures in there. Wouldn't quite fit, but you could probably could make it work. I also like this light design that's on the top of the hood that you would see on a lot of types of trucks like this in real life. And then here's the start of the trailer part of the truck. And I really, really love the design of this in that it, the way it's built, it's so that it rests like that, but you get the same structural um, design of like an actual auto transporter. I also like the addition of these flaps in the back that are supposed to be there to keep the trucks or the cars on to the auto transporter. And another cool thing about this set is it actually comes with two different vehicles, both of which are convertible style. And they're both the same build basically, except they're just different colors. But still, it's cool to get two vehicles along with the main vehicle that is in this set. Also, the way these attach is there's a little gap underneath the car, and there's a little hook up here, and you just put the gap into the hook, and it stays on. Another thing I really like about this set is how it uses these Lego ladders at the top to act as a track for the cars to drive onto, which I thought was a really cool design. Overall, the design of this part of the auto transporter is really, really sleek, and I really love the design. I think what I love the most about it is it's just really realistic and it's very different from a lot of other Lego vehicles that I've seen or have owned. Take a look at the back, look at the other side. So that's the main part of the auto transporter and the other half is the trailer part. Not so much a trailer but an addition to this so that it's longer like most transporters you see drive by on the highway. So it comes with a little hitch here, and it hitches to the back of there. And it's basically an exact replica of, of what's on the back of this. Except just in a trailer form, so there's only two wheels. But on the bottom, it's the same design as the bottom of here. And it also has those same tracks on the top. Overall, I like how they have the trailer edition. So that way, for playability purposes, you can have either just a small little transporter, or, if you have more than two cars, you can attach this at the back. So, that's a look at the main part of the set. Overall, a really nice build. I really love how realistic this set is. It's, I think it's one of my favorite city sets, especially from this line from 2014. And probably one of my top five favorites ever. It just gives you so much for the size of the set, and it's just a really, really cool build. So thanks for watching this review of the old 2014 LEGO City Auto Transporter set. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. And also be sure to subscribe for more videos from me. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.